Still in Nigeria, the Ijo Youth Council has called for an end to the marginalization of citizens from Nigeria's Niger Delta region. The council made this known as it commemorated the life and times of late Ijo activist and nationalist Isaac Adaka Boru. Marvelous Obomanu tells us more. Pro Niger Delta activist Major Isaac Adaka Boru was born on September the 10th, 1938. Boro, an activist, led protests against Nigeria's federal government over neglect of the nation's oil-rich region, which eventually led to his death. Today makes it exactly 55 years since late Major Isaac Boro died, an activist and a war hero. Today, the Ejo Youth Nation in Nigeria and world over are celebrating their hero who fought for the emancipation of the people of the Niger Delta, who fought for the oil exploitation of the people in the Niger Delta. But what has happened to this struggle? What has become the life of people in the Niger Delta? And what is the current situation in the Niger Delta? These are questions seriously pleading for answers. What the Niger Delta people want is one, relocation of all oil operation that outside of the Niger Delta territory should be recalled back to Niger Delta, where the operation base is. Today, if you can see, how will you expect company to operate in Niger Delta, and the headquarters will be located outside of Niger Delta? A man who left school as an undergraduate student of chemistry in University of Insuka just to fight and ensure that his people don't suffer from oil exploration, degradation, environmental pollution, gas flare, and all that. And you could see that even he joined to ensure that the unity of Nigeria is not being undermined. And so today, we are gathered here to celebrate what he stood for. While many believe that the protest led by Boro resulted to changes in the Niger Delta region, there are still some who think that much still needs to be done in bringing development to the area. There is relative peace and there is positive change, but not the way the whole Northern Delta is expected it to be. And that's why you can see that a pocket of agitation still going on in the Northern Delta, because what has Gboro stand for? Resource control and self-determination. Senior officials of the Ijo Youth Council use the opportunity to call on citizens to emulate the lifestyle of Isaac Boro. This is then you will see somebody that will be as a force to determine the struggle of or unity of the job people because what we are seeing nowadays is divide and rule. Once the job is divided, the politicians, and even our own politicians, our councillors will use them to come and cause confusion and you see this person is in the right side, this person is in the right side. Marvelous Obomano for News Central.